What's going on? Heavy Hooks here. And I was listening to Mr. Z. And he's making some great points. Points that I've tried to highlight before. Um, right here, he's talking about uh, American people's views on <clears throat> fixing our political and economic state. Listen to what he says. Now you understand why I said the commodification? Black men, you're nothing but a walking wallet. You don't even have, you don't even get to have a political imagination. You don't even get to advocate for black people anymore. I didn't even just say just black men, I said black people. These particular people are so capitalist, so neoliberal, they really bought into the idea that no, we can't advocate politically, we gotta get our money right first. And then we buy politicians. What politicians haven't already been bought? Oops. Y'all not about cultivating black politics and the young people, so that's out the window. Now, the reason I agree with Mr. Z about this is because we live in a society that pushes business ownership and entrepreneurship and anybody that's an employee is considered inferior to those that own businesses so then it's easy in a society that pushes business ownership and entrepreneurship to accept the idea that if you want to fix something in america you must get your money right first but i just want to point out historically this has never been the case if you look at the definitions of imperialism and colonialism, you will see it says nothing about saving up money, owning businesses and running them until you have enough capital to buy land and uh, other machinery. It says nothing about that. It's about creating a government document that approves you for going over to another land and taking over, which is what Europeans did. They said it was legal for their government to go to another land and take over that land. Look it up. It's imperialism. Colonialism. So the idea that Europeans saved up their money and then purchased fairly the land of North America or that Spain went to South America with a pot of gold and bought up South America or, or that... Europeans went over to Canada and, and made a fair purchase with the money they saved it is ridiculous. And like Mr. Z said, if your idea is that black people have to save up enough money to buy politicians, if that is the correct way, then like he said, tell us which politicians have not already been purchased at a price we cannot afford. Because if black people have less money collectively than other people, that means other people have the capital to pay more for politicians. Doesn't that make sense to you guys? So you really think we can outspend people? We're going to outspend our way to freedom? No, that's not what that's not how it has happened historically. People use political strategy and political might to get what they want and that's what we're going to have to do. And that's why he brought up, well how are we going to cultivate this um political knowledge and strategy with our black youth if we're not even doing it ourselves as adults because that's needed if we don't have the youth on the same page as the adults and the elders then what are we actually saying and doing because somebody's got to take over somebody's got to replace us and if we haven't done a good job of explaining and demonstrating what needs to be done to create the society that we all say we want, and what are we doing? This is Heavy Hooks, I'm out.